Jeff Bridges, y'all. <laughs> or my hippie Jesus looking man. Oh. Cedar. 
So if anybody out there has uh, cedar slabs, let me know. That's what it was, I was going to say. Uh, Tad, see if he can come out and slab, slab. that cedar Yeah, but that won't trunk, be ready to build trunk. until later this year. Well, yeah. Even if, but you know, that, it, that yeah. took me down that pathway mentally. Although we could get that slabbed, dry it in the shop, and then a couple months, if Terrence wants to wait, then we could do that. That would be some sentimental cedar because A, it is gorgeous cedar. Yes. B, it's locally film, uh, locally filled cedar here in Middle Tennessee. And uh, I bet I could get your panels on the cedar in one plank. I mean, this stuff, this tree sitting oh in our yard gosh. is about 36 inches in diameter. That it's, would be incredible. It's hey, huge. Terrence, wait on the chest. Let's yeah. do this. Yeah. That uh, might be a good idea to do that, man. Yeah. Uh, I like it. But we'll talk. We'll talk. We're, you know, we'll talk. We're a little bit backed up right now, but we'll be caught up soon. We've got another deck to build here in a couple weeks for Dan. Yeah. Uh, and we decided we're going to go back to Illinois in a couple weekends. Probably about in a month, maybe. Two, three weeks. Oh, two, three weeks? Three weeks. A sooner than I thought? Maybe three weeks. Uh, to see the progress and help out in any way we can just for the weekend. So we'll be able to get some new uh, pictures and videos for you guys. Because I know you're all on pins and needles. Yeah, all three of you. All <laughs> hey, we're in double digits on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Double digits. Whoop, whoop. Thanks, Aunt Debbie. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> well, uh, yeah. So we'll do some, we'll try to get more creative on some of these videos. Like I'm thinking we need to, well, you need to pop in on the shop while I'm building and stuff like that too. Yeah, that'll definitely be more, happening yeah. more and more. Uh, we need to, I was going to say, do you want to just talk a bit, little bit about how we met? I got, I got three words for you guys. Ready? We swipe right. <laughs> we did. We met online. And I had to weed through a lot of no-gooders. <laughs> the technical I'm the, I'm the weed. She forgot to <laughs> I forgot to plug that one. <laughs> slipped through the cracks. <laughs> I'm that weed in the sidewalk that just grew up through a crack. Just got lucky. <laughs> no, but we, we did. We met on Tinder. I shudder to think that, you know, one day one of our kids might be on that app. No, because it's, somebody. that is just really a miracle because that app is disgusting. It is. It is. Um, but we met, chatted for a week or so, and then it was a couple, it was two, three weeks. We had our first date, and it was from that. I, for me, it was from that moment that I knew that I was gonna keep him around. It took him a lot longer. Jury's still out. And Tyler and Hayden like him a lot. And then 
the conversation was, well, if they can't get along together, we're not fighting this battle. And by the grace of God, they all get along. Tyler just hides himself in his room most often than not. I blame him, man. It's a house full of us. I don't know. <laughs> Jeez. And I have to like bang on his wall sometimes just to get him to come out. <laughs> just to remind me. Like, Testosterone, please. Dude. <laughs> uh, so that was really nice, you know, everybody getting along. And then we even took it a step further and decided that we needed to be able to get along with each other's exes and again by the grace of God and that's how you know that you know you're walking in God's will because all those little things just start to fall into place and they did I get along really well with Anna for the longest time I was her favorite <laughs> what over you oh probably still are <laughs> probably well yeah and you're probably Tim's favorite the two of us but we all like each other we all get along you know, yeah no it's good <clears throat> it's it's not the ideal situation I mean you never want divorce Correct. divorce is not an answer at all it's not a it's not it's not biblical it's not yeah, supposed to be it's there not what God wants. it's not God's will whatsoever but you know two broken marriages broken people and uh, you know their redemption it w was an order and it's God is God's amazing I, you know how he he can reconcile people and reconcile relationships and uh, another deer oh, and a baby oh, and a baby uh, and yeah yeah I mean it's it's all good it's I mean don't want to look back and live in, you know, you don't want to be constantly looking back and let it affect you now and have doubts and have regrets and all that kind of stuff. You don't want that at all. But, you know, you got to live, you got to move on, you got to learn from your mistakes and allow God to do his work in you to reconcile you, repair you, and then you move forward with what you have. Able to go to this to your former spouse and seek their forgiveness for your part in the divorce and you know, make everything about the kids and cause they they when they start having hard times as they get older and in their relationships they're gonna look to what your relationship looks like yeah. you know and if it's if you're always gonna just quit and not fight for that relationship you know they're going to take that into consideration so yeah I mean it starts it starts with you know all of us in our hearts surrendering yeah. complete surrender to God uh, and that's without that that's usually the reason why people are broken and relationships get broken and marriages fail is a lack of surrender uh, to the Lord. Uh, that's really what it amounts to because God is just, but he's also, uh, he, with, if, you, if you're within his will, you know, nothing, nothing can divide you. Nothing can divide us. You know, if we stay within his will, it's the second one or both of us drifts from God's will, the second is the second that the enemy can get in there, and that's why marriages fail. You know, there's it's not God's will for a marriage to fail. It's not. It's outside of God's will for a marriage to fail. Yeah. Um, so, you know, you, you, like I said, we, we live from that. We, we move forward, and uh, we do everything, you know, Sandy and I do everything we can to stay within God's will, knowing that the enemy is right outside the door lurking, pacing, awaiting his opportunity to latch and, and to deceive and to trick and to do his thing. Um, but, uh, you know, God is God is awesome and if you stay within his will, he's, you know, there's nothing that the enemy can do. I mean, he's, yeah. with a glance, the enemy is rebuked by God. With a, with a thought, he's yeah. rebuked. So, 
That's the learning lesson, boys and girls. <laughs> yes, and there goes our light. Ah, it's getting dark. It's so dark. Our very scared. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, now that you can't see us. Oh, that didn't work. Yeah, bit. but it's it's like oh, eight. there it goes. He, oh, hi. yeah. See, we're driving in between trees here as we approach Kentucky, and we're probably going to lose people anyways because it's about to go through these hills here. Yeah. But regardless, um, we're gonna we're gonna take a nap, put in cruise control, and take a nap. Oh, and, this is uh, why we were supposed to buy the Tesla, so it would drive uh, for us. I wouldn't own a Tesla anyways. But yeah, so yeah, we're just gonna relax, enjoy uh, two and a half more hours, get home, sleep in our bed, and relax tomorrow. Might shoot a video tomorrow, walk around yeah. the yard or something. I don't know. Get to know the run, not run down homestead, but yeah, the needs work. The needs work. <laughs> the homestead. needs work homestead. But it, the incredibly functional homestead. Correct. So, All anyways. right. Before we go completely dark. Y'all have a good evening. Peace. Peace.